It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather. Here's your host, Abby Dyer. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your Tuesday. You're not even going to believe me today. It is going to be so fantastic across the Ozarks. 76 degrees, my high temperature forecast. This time last week, we were starting the day at 76 degrees. Uh, it's just going to be so nice across the region. I encourage you to find some time to get outside today because, wow, are we talking a nice cooler pattern, cloud cover in the forecast, and a north breeze that's going to help keep things cool. This is below average for the middle of August. It's going to give us a little bit of fall fever, I think, across the region with temperatures in the 70s today. Now, today is the coolest day of the week. Low temps starting in the 50s. Highs will be about 76, as I mentioned. North wind, not too bad, not too gusty. We could have a gust near 15 miles an hour today, but overall, we're talking low relative humidity, cloud cover. I think there will be a lot of folks out and about getting that evening walk in later on because it's just too nice to miss this setup. We are on the good side of the cold front. We have those nice cooler temperatures. High pressure will be moving in. So what we're going to see through the course of the day is the skies begin to clear. I am expecting some late day sunshine, but the first half of the work week is going to be cooler than average. I've still got a fantastic day on deck for you on Wednesday, but today the coolest of the week. Tomorrow we're back to the low 80s. I think we could be back at 90 degrees again as early as Thursday. There will still be some 80s on Thursday. Some folks, though, making their way back into the 90s. And then for all of you summer weather lovers, we're going to be right back there for the weekend with high temps back into the mid 90s as we get closer to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So the heat and humidity, it will return if you're missing it. Well, let those of us that like the cooler weather enjoy today because it's going to be the nice one of the week. Really though, today and tomorrow, great days for outdoor projects or for getting outside. A ridge of high pressure then returns across the Ozarks. That's what's going to happen as we head closer to the weekend. And we can thank that for the warmer temperatures that are in the forecast. I have a heat index that's also going to be back into the triple digits. So it will feel much warmer across the area and it's just going to be kind of hot and sticky as we get closer to early next week. So enjoy the cooler weather for sure. Take advantage of it today if you have any outdoor projects to do. 76 degrees. I just want to keep saying it because it's just going to be so nice. 76 degrees. Uh, very minimal chance for rain today, but we'll have a good deal of cloud cover around. For those of you that just got walloped with the rain on Sunday night, there still could be some areas of some residual flooding. So keep that in mind if you're traveling around the Ozarks today primarily Lawrence County places that were hard hit with nearly five inches of rainfall. Good news for you folks is that it's going to stay dry for the rest of the week too. I've just got nothing but sunshine in the forecast as we head through the second half of the work week. And then Saturday and Sunday are looking dry at this point too. I think high pressure will be in control and that will allow for the rain chances to stay away here for the next five days or so. Weather here is really nice. Weather across the country, not so nice, especially for the South. They are still dealing with record heat from Texas back to Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, even Florida getting in on some of this record heat. And today will be no exception. There are still heat advisories and heat headlines issued for the southern part of the country. We've then got monsoonal downpours that are possible across the Four Corners region already. Some heavy rain there the last few days. Today, that is going to be possible as well. And then I am talking about areas in the Atlantic that we are watching, actually two different areas, kind of interestingly enough. Uh, I expect that we're going to see a low chance of development here, but this is the time of year where we start to see some of that activity in the tropics really ramp up. Uh, watching for development, of course, with tropical storms and hurricanes. Low chance of development with both areas, though, that I'm watching out there. And the reason is because not all the ingredients are in place. We have some really dry air. Also, the Saharan dust that we often hear about this time of year, that's moving across some of the area where we're watching the low pressure develop. So I doubt we'll see anything come out of those. By the way, though, the next tropical storm, if there is one named, will be Emily. But uh, we're going to start hearing more about the tropics as that season ramps up and we really get into peak season. All right, I'll show you the brain twister question that I left you with yesterday. This one, fun fact, I learned this from my son's toy. <laughs> he has a, a little guitar toy. Uh, it looks like a tiger and it sings songs and, and says all of this stuff. And after I heard it, I was like, okay, I got to go look that up because I did not know this. 
a group of tigers is called a what? Did you think that was a pack, a pride, a streak, or a herd? The answer is actually C. It is a streak of tigers. Have you heard that? I had not. Uh, groups of tigers can be called two things. A streak is one of them. A streak is a group of tigers that are running together. Um, tigers that are waiting to hunt together. They're kind of like waiting um, on their prey. That is called an ambush. Accurately so. I bet their prey feels ambushed. But when they're just running together or in groups, often like a mama with her cubs, that is called a streak. And the song on my son's guitar says, a group of tigers is called a streak. And it is correct. It is called a streak. All right, I will leave you with the brain twister question for early tomorrow morning. What is Earth's largest living structure? This is even visible from space. Do you think it is the Amazon rainforest, the Rocky Mountains, or the Great Barrier Reef? Let me know what you think. You can do that over on the Around the Ozarks Facebook page. We will post the question there. Take your guess. I'll let you know if you're right early tomorrow morning. In the meantime, enjoy this day. Get outside at some point. Fire up the barbecue later to this evening. Uh, humidity, not bad either. 76 degrees. I'll say it again. It's going to be a fantastic day. I hope everyone enjoys the afternoon. I will chat with you again early tomorrow morning. Thank you for listening to Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather. If you need more weather information throughout the day, check out aroundtheozarks.com. We've got you covered there with all the forecast information.